Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech again, a channel which is providing you with tutorials for years, so that's really good. Now, the topic for today is how do you ignore messages on an iPhone? Now, if you open up the messages, let's say I'm inside of this chat conversation, well, what I can do to ignore the messages is to tap on the name of the person that I'm chatting with, and you can see I can actually click on hide alerts. When I tap on that, I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna be notified about any new alerts, any new messages that I receive. They're not gonna show up as a badge on my home screen, so you're not gonna be able to see that only from other messages, not from that specific chat. And you will also not get any notification when this specific person is texting you. So this is uh, theoretically a way how you can ignore messages from that person on your iPhone. If you want to go one step further, further, you can also disable sending read receipts. So whenever somebody sends you an iMessage and you open it up, they know exactly that you read it. In case you want to disable that, in case you don't want the other person to know that you actually read the message, you can disable that as well. And in this case, you're going to just be able to see uh, the messages without any alerts and the, the other person will not know if you read them or not. So this is something to pay attention to or to keep in mind. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses Courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But this is just for one individual person or one chat. You can, of course, apply to any chat, but only for one at a time. In case you want to ignore every single message on your iPhone. In this case, what you can do is to open up the settings and go to the notifications and scroll down to find messages. You can see messages are right here. And in case you want to ignore it, what you can do is, let's say, disable badges. When you come back to the home screen, no messages are popping up at you. Nothing really disturbing is happening. So you don't see how many messages you have unread or received. It's probably a good way for you. This might be ignoring. Or in case you want to see that, you can, can keep it turned on. But perhaps you disable notifications. That's like the other way to go about it. So you don't get any alerts. Nothing is inviting you or nothing is really doing anything. So yeah, that, that's an option as well. You don't have any notifications. You don't have badges. That's an option for you as well. Or perhaps you disable specific type of notification or specific sound, whatever. It's up to you. You also have the option to customize it and let's say that you don't want to get the repeated alerts so alerts repeat at two minute intervals so let's say that you receive a message and you don't even pick up your phone you don't see it you don't even see the notification and that time your iphone is going to repeat it once so that means that your uh, iphone is going to ring one more time notifying you about that message or you can disable it set it up as as you like so that's that's up to you. Now, ignoring messages may not only be by disabling notifications, but the third option would be to use focus mode. Let's say that you set up a specific focus mode during which you're going to decide that it's going to be called custom whatever. You don't even have to name it. It's just going to be test. So you're going to hit return, tap next, customize it. And the way I customize it is that I'm going to choose apps which are going to be allowed or which are not going to be allowed. So let's say I'm going to choose the messages are going to be silenced. In this case, the only app which does not work or which is going to be silenced is going to be the messages. So yeah, messages are now silenced and that's really good. Right now, when I enable my test focus mode, well, let's say that I can smart activate it, I can schedule it, whatever. But when I disable the messages within that focus mode and I turn on that focus, no messages aren't going to be delivered to me. In this specific case, I'm also ignoring all messages on my iPhone. So that's that's really good as well. So these were the three options which you have. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.